Good afternoon, welcome, graduates, family members, distinguished guests, uh, honorees. Um, we'd like to invite you to uh, participate in this uh, event as much as possible, but we do ask that you be respectful of the people around. If any of the graduates have children and they'd like to take a photograph as they're going across the stage, it's absolutely fine. Um, but again, we just, just want to make sure everybody's respectful of everybody being able to take pictures uh, of their loved ones, friends, and family. Thank you. The commencement ceremony for the programs within University College will now come to order. Please be seated. Breathe. Telling myself that, but good afternoon. My name is Gina Bianco, and I have the honor of being the Dean of University College, what we informally call here at Roger Williams UC. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of UC, and RW more broadly, I'd like to extend the warmest welcomes to all of you as we celebrate the class of 2023. It gives me great privilege to stand before you and welcome University College's graduating class. I would first like to take a moment to recognize Associate Dean Kite and the faculty and staff members that are here on the stage and in the audience. I personally thank you for your commitment to our students. I am confident that the graduating students will attest that these faculty and staff members were absolutely critical in their success. With that said, I would like to formally recognize two distinguished faculty members at University College. At UC, we annually grant an Outstanding Teacher of the, Award, Teacher of the Year Award to a full-time or part-time professor in UC who has made a significant contribution to Roger Williams University through demonstrated teaching and learning, specifically effectiveness to teaching contemporary learners or non-traditional learners. Nominations for the Outstanding Teacher of the Year Award are made by students and faculty within University College. The award recognizes the contributions made by Thomas J. Carroll, an RW faculty member who came to the university after a distinguished career in the, in the United States Marine Corps. Mr. Carroll epitomized excellence and set high standards for student academic performance. He was the first recipient of the board's Outstanding Teacher of the Year Award. This year, I am very pleased to announce that Ms. Nancy Kubik, adjunct professor as this year's recipient of the Thomas J. Carroll Outstanding Teacher of the Award. Nancy, please step forward. <laughs> On behalf of UC, I would like to thank you for sharing your time and talents with our students and colleagues and me. In the words of one of your students, Nancy has done a great job of teaching an older student, such as myself, when I felt like I just couldn't keep up with the class and wanted to give up, she motivated me and encouraged me and inspired to keep going, and I did. I completed the course. The knowledge I have learned by taking her class, I will be able to apply in my workplace and assist my clients. Nancy is an exceptional instructor with her guidance I am interested in furthering my education beyond this certificate program. Nancy, thank you. The next res reg recognition gives me a great privilege and a warm heart. Not often does an individual get an opportunity to formally honor their mentor. In the words of famed Hollywood director and filmmaker Steven Spielberg, the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image, but giving them the opportunity to create themselves. Today, I stand before you as a leader of UC. But a little over 10 years ago, I was hired as a consultant for the Paralegal Studies program. And it was this honoree who gave me my wings and allowed me to soar. He served as my mentor, he served as a mentor to many, from students to colleagues alike, for me personally, he took me under his wing and shared his wisdom and knowledge in allowing me to soar. I stand before you today to formally recognize and honor retired professor Dr. Lou Swizowitz to the status of Professor Emeritus. 
Dr. Swizowitz began his employment at RWU in 1980 and retired in 2015. During his 35 years of service to the university, Dr. Swizowitz was a full-time tenured faculty member. In my opinion, Dr. Swizowitz was an educator ahead of his time, particularly when it came to online synchronized edu asynchronous education. He understood the true meaning of being a student-ready institution, namely for contemporary learners. He always placed his students first. His students shared their appreciation of him as a teacher. Recently, I had the privilege to meet an alum at a president's dinner who spoke highly of his advisor and professor. During that same dinner, we learned that it was Lou Swizowitz. The alum credited much of his academic success to Dr. Swiz. Dr. Lou, as he was fondly known by his students, was a pioneer and awarded credit for prior learning, for which many of you, I think, are the recipients of. He was very concerned about our students and made himself always available to students both for clarification and assistance with instructional content, as well as mentoring to students who are often non-traditional learners. His support and encouragement were critical to the success and retention of many of our students. In addition to his excellence as a teacher, Lou also provided leadership on the Providence campus, serving as a program coordinator of the industrial technology and technology leadership and management programs, and as an active member of multiple campus committees in addition to his work on the Providence campus, Lou also provided membership, mentorship of faculty, not only on his home campus of Providence, but to the faculty at large, serving on the faculty, senate, and the faculty union, working closely and collaboratively with many administrators over the course of his career. Tracy, please step up. Swizz, could you please step forward? Thank you for your years of service, but more importantly, your leadership and continued friendship. Thank you. Okay, this is what we're all here for. We are here to award our graduating students diplomas, which we will do shortly, but by tradition, I have to give a speech. Graduates, I'm certain if you look back, you can see that there is a long and winding pathway that has led to this very moment. We know that many, many members of the graduating class have had to accomplish and balance a great deal to arrive at this very moment. Today is your day to celebrate and honor all of your accomplishments. As you move forward into life's journey, remember what you have learned and apply that learning. I am proud of each and every one of you. Hold tight to your Roger Williams University degree that will open doors forever. Hold tight to your connection with University College. Walk forward with confidence as you decide where to put your wonderful time and talent. Forever you and your families are part of RWU. Congratulations, please enjoy this wonderful time of celebration. To the families and friends of our graduates, Thank you for sharing your students with us and through their educational journey. What a privilege it has been. Thank you. Good afternoon. Our commencement today will have two main parts, presentation of the President's Corps Values Medallion recipients, another recognition, and the part that everyone truly looks forward to, conferral of the degrees and reading of the names. I will now proceed with the presentation of the President's Value Medallion. <clears throat> the President's Corps Value Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors who best reflect university core values through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education, to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. This year, the university has had the honor to award two. We request that each student recipient come up to the stage via the stairs on your right to receive your medallion after we announce your name. It is an honor to announce the first Core Values Medallion recipient for the class of 2023 from UC, Priest Giggs Willie. Priest Giggs is pursuing his second degree. Thanks. 
Priest Giggs is pursuing his second degree with Roger Williams and his third degree overall. He obtained his Associate of Science in Emergency Management from CCRI in 2015, his Bachelor of Science in Public Administration in 2020 with Roger Williams University, and is now completing his Bachelor of Science in Policing, Public Safety, and Security. Priest Giggs is a Liberian American born in a small Monticello County in Liberia. He immigrated to the United States in 2014 and immediately joined the Rhode Island National Guard in which he still serves. He is also a member of the Rhode Island Old Timers, which is a soccer group based in Rhode Island. The group is focused on helping members of the community, including at-risk youth. He currently works for General Dynamics and Electric Boat in Quonset, North Kingstown. His long-term goals include seeking an opportunity in state and local government, as well as continuing his volunteer work within the community. Although he's been busy with his, his full-time employment and his work in the community, he's maintained a noteworthy GPA. I've had him in, as a student in several of my classes and as an advisee. I found him to be very energetic, very committed, obviously. <laughs> and uh, he's very, um, very proactive and very motivated uh, to complete. In fact, we were just talking beforehand, and I asked him if he's going to get any more degrees, and he said he's, he's going to go on for his master's after this. So. He's obviously, he's obviously an intelligent and a hardworking student. I'd like to congratulate him. He has the award on him, if you want to show everybody. <laughs> congratulations again. Good afternoon, everyone. As uh, Sean has mentioned, uh, the President's Core Value Medallion Award is presented to the student who exemplifies the core values of Roger Williams University. This year's recipient is a electoral apprenticeship candidate completing all four years with University College's first EAP program, graduating class. He finished with perfect attendance and a final GPA of 89%. This student truly embodies the spirit and enthusiasm valued by all employers and educators. It is my honor to announce the second Core Value Medallion Award winner of 2023 from Roger Williams University, University College, Curtis Lauder. In addition to awarding the President's Core Values Medallions, it is a tradition in University College to recognize this recipient of school-specific honor societies. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's Lambda Epsilon Chi or Lex inductees, which will be uh, awarded by Tracy Pratt. Greetings, distinguished guests, candidates, and families. Roger Williams University's University College has been inducting students into honor societies for many years. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's Lambda Epsilon Chi, or LEX as we informally call it, inductees. LEX is a national honor society founded by AFPE, which is the American Association for Paralegal and Legal Education. There are LEX chapters throughout the United States and thousands are inducted every year. Selected students demonstrated academic performance by having an evidenced GPA of 3.25 or higher and 3.5 specifically in their paralegal courses. We ask that each candidate please stand when their name is announced and remain standing until all names are called. 
and I think that there's only actually one in the audience, but in case I'm wrong, I'm gonna read all five. Randy Miller, Patricia Franzen, Gerardo Vila, Elizabeth Hecker, and last but certainly not least, Dante Parisi. I have a certificate for you. Oh, it's coming your way from Miss Olivia. Our second honor society is Alpha Sigma Lambda. It's a university college honor society. It was founded in 1945 and it recognizes the achievements of adults who have accomplished academic excellence while facing competing interests such as home, work, family, and school. At Roger Williams University, students are in the top 20% of their graduating class that are inducted into this honor society. What that actually means when I conducted all of the data in GPAs is that the students that are inducted all have a 3.8 or higher. So we have some smarty pants out here. So it is my honor to announce the 2023 Alpha Sigma Lambda inductees. And again, when your name is called, please stand to be recognized. And we have certificates that will be handed out for those that are in attendance. Elizabeth Hecker, Giza Munoz, Joseph Furl, Mark Giusti, Michael Vieira, Patricia Franzen, Randy Miller, Stephen Boheim, Summer Arena, Thomas Nye, William Texera, and Wilfred Ordonis. Thank you. One more certificate. <laughs> Name? Wilfred. Wilfred. Congratulations to all those awardees. Thank you, Tracy. We now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises, the conferring of academic degrees upon the class of 2023. Please note that students are in no order by major or by alphabet, so please pay close attention. Our undergraduate students today wear a hood, signifying their graduation with their bachelor's degrees and permanent connection to Roger Williams University. These hoods wear RWU colors of white and light blue. We'd also like to acknowledge those undergraduate baccalaureate students who are graduating with a minimum of 54 residency credits who have the distinction of graduating with Latin honors. Would all the students graduating cum laude, which is a 3.4 to a 3.6, please stand to be recognized if you are able. Will all students graduating magna cum laude with a 3.6 to a 3.8, please stand if you are able. And finally, students graduating summa cum laude, please stand, a grade point average of 3.8 or higher. Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended and we are proud of all of your accomplishments. Our professional certificates, credentialing and trade program students today wear a stole signifying their graduation with certificates of completion and a permanent connection to Roger Williams University. These stoles bear the RW colors and bear the RW color and university seal. We will now begin the conferral process. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise? 
I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study by the virtue of authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all rights and privileges here too will the candidates please move come forward Melissa Gonzalez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Congratulations. John Anthony Santagata, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Erica Tapia, Bachelor of Science, Paralegal Studies. Krista Ann Clunder, Bachelor of Science, Paralegal Studies. Sarah Elizabeth Murray, Bachelor of General Studies, Healthcare Admin Concentration, Magna Cum Laude. Jahira Rodriguez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Venus Zayas, Bachelor of Science, Paralegal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Brian C. Monty, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Preskis M. Willie, Bachelor of Science, Policing, Public Safety and Security. Jennifer C. Carter, Bachelor of Science, Public Administration. Lucia Cipriano, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. I know you. <laughs> Wilfred Ordonez. Bachelor of General Studies, Social Science. Chardon Charles, Bachelor of Science, Emergency Medical Services. Dante John Parisi, Bachelor of Science, Professional Legal Studies, Cum Laude. <laughs> Mark R. Giusti, Bachelor of Science, Public Administration. Stephen Bone? Bone. What would you uh oh, you think Stephen Boehm, Bachelors of General Studies? Uh, 
more song. Poisson. Poisson. Yeah, good luck. Here we go. <laughs> Aaron Paul Poisson, Bachelor of Arts, Graphic Design Communications. Tahani M. Walker, Bachelor of General Studies, Social Science. Enya J. Capono, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Summer Lee Arena. Bachelor of General Studies, Social Science, summa cum laude. Darian A. Tooley, Bachelor of Science, Social Science, cum laude. Mikhail L. Golden, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Akeem Corbin, Bachelor of Science, Public Administration. Mike. Michael David Vieira, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Will the candidate for associate's degrees please rise? I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By the virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with the rights and privileges hereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Kimberly M. Machado, Associate Arts, uh, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Ready? Philip Lloyd Harris II, Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts. Congratulations. Sarah A. Pratt, Associate in Science, Social Science. Michelle Ann Hines, Associate in Science, Liberal Arts.
It's a family affair at University College. <laughs> Will the undergraduate and post-baccalaureate certificate candidates please rise? I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study by virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees we confer upon you the degree to which you're entitled with all the rights and privileges thereto will the can candidates please come forward Paula M. Carroll, Certificate in Advanced Professional Studies, Community Development. Tunji, Tunji, I apologize. Tunji Urima, Certificate in Advanced Professional Studies, Case management. You're going to be able to recite this in your sleep. You think I'd have it memorized by now? <laughs> Will the electrical apprenticeship program candidates please rise? And as the director, Rick Barser, said, this is our first graduating class of the apprenticeship program. It's a four-year program. And not only are they balancing education and family and outside commitments, they're also balancing working within the profession as apprentices within their field. I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degree appropriate to their course of study by the virtue of authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees, we confer upon you the certificate which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges here too. Will the candidates please come forward? Curtis Lauder, EAP. Noah Lloyd, EAP. Joshua Brockmiller, EAP. Will the career and technical education certification candidates please rise? These individuals too are balancing many competing demands. The program is a year long job embedded program that leads to teacher certification. So each and every one of these candidates will be a career and technical education teacher certified by the state of Rhode Island. I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the certificate appropriate to their course of study by virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees. We confer upon you the degree for which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges here too. Will the candidates please come forward.
Kenneth Lowell, CTE. Shane Richards, CTE. I'm not cutting, so it's really. David Payne, CTE. Colin McCabe, CTE. I don't know all of them. Saulo Mayorga, CTE. Eric Starter, CTE. That's awesome. Desiree Martel, CTE. Kelly Marino, CTE. One more. Will the English of the Second Language Teacher Certification Programs candidates please rise? So we had 60 of them but they're all working teachers. So, and it is a Friday and it is in the afternoon, so I'm gonna give them a little reprieve. Um, but I want to tell you that our programs by nature are really feeding or necessitating the delivery of education for contemporary learners of all ages and all stages. And we were pleased to actually confer 139 degrees many of which could not be here today for a variety of reasons. We have students that are all over the world, stationed in military bases, um, working internationally, um, and we have a lot of working um, individuals and people caring for families and outside commitments. So we honor them just as much. Um, we hope that they were here in spirit um, and they will be able to watch a video recording of the main ceremony. Um, but I just wanted to give you that tidbit of information and also congratulate them. Congratulations, candidates. You have, you've done it. You've accomplished it. This concludes the commencement exercises for the 2023 graduates of University College at Roger Williams University. Congratulations to all the graduates, families, and friends. Enjoy the rest of the day. On behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today in celebrating these commencement exercises. Please stand if you are able and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional, including our graduates, have exited the gym. Congratulations again, graduates, and And turn your tassel, you have been officially graduated.